Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to create an um, uh, Instagram story uh, template that you can use to market your photography business, whatever business that you're uh, running. Um, I just picked photography because that's what I do. All right, so we will go to uh, click on new file. And we're going to go 1080 by 1920, 300 resolution and hit create. That will create our document. So basically we're going to add um, a gradient background so um, we can leave this locked to this layer or you can delete it whatever uh, go ahead and click on your gradients and i already made one up it's just a, like uh this black to red that i've been using in my other tutorials we'll go ahead and hit okay uh, actually if you want the same color it's black over here and red is or crimson, or whatever color this is. It's 440 BOB. We'll hit OK, OK, and then OK. So this is our, our background start. We'll go ahead and delete the layer mask. All right, so we're going to create um, now uh, some guidelines. So view, uh, guides, new guide layout, and we're just going to do three columns, three rows. So three columns, three rows. Hit OK. If you want to change your color, just click on this color picker here. I just have it on red for whatever reason. Hit OK. Hit OK. So now that we have this, we want to add uh, some elements for uh, the background. All right, let's go to, uh, let's do rectangles. Rectangle tool here and uh, shape. Uh, the fill is white, but we can change that. Stroke is off. All right, so we want to drag out a, a perfect rectangle or a square. So you would hold down shift and drag. We're going to drag one about uh, about this size right here. And then when that comes up, you see these little circles here. Um, we're going to rotate um, or round the edges. So if you just click on and drag down a little bit, that will round the corners. Okay, so that's what we want. And now we want to rotate this. So if we hit Control or Command T, uh, hold down Shift so it goes in 15s, and just crank it around 45 degrees, and hit Enter. And now we have this rectangle. All right. Now we want to place it. So Control T, and you see this little target center point. That'll help us line up things. Okay. If you don't see that, uh, there's this little check mark up here. And we can just drag it. We can just drag it. Okay, I'm having technical difficulties. I want to drag this over kind of like so. So it's on this guideline and on this guideline in the center. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. All right, go to your move tool. Click on your move tool. Hold down alt or option. And we're going to drag this out. It's going to make a copy. And we can go like so, so it's lined up. And then we're going to make one more copy, so hold down Alt or Option again. And we'll bring it up to uh, about here. Let's hit Control T, make sure it's on the line, it's all centered up. Okay, so that's, this is our three, um, we're going to make these layer masks. So we click on this top one, hold down Shift and click on the bottom one. And then we'll just put them in a group and then we'll label it um, right side photo p h o t o masks okay so we have that um, we also want to uh, make one more rectangle up here so we can get new layer we'll grab our rectangle tool again hold down shift and we'll make it about this size here and we'll round the corners a little bit like so and then control t and we'll rotate it 45 degrees and we'll put it up about like so maybe down like so okay so now we have all our mask and this is going to be the left side large mask all right, so that is that. We can go ahead and add some stuff on the bottom. Uh, so basically, let's just grab, we can grab uh, an ellipse tool 
and just kind of go like so. Hold down your space bar to move it around. Uh, maybe about right here. We'll hit enter. Is that what we want? Okay. All right. Now we want to add some shading and gradients to this. So uh, to get to your layer styles, you can click on effects down here. Uh, but for me, I just double click on the layer and the layer styles will come up. And I'll just click gradient overlay like so. So we have this. Um, that same gradient is applied. So it's at 90, at 100. Uh, click on your dither and hit OK. All right, so I want to make a copy of this, but I want this copy because I'm going to make it larger. I want this copy to be underneath. So if you hold down Alt or Option and drag down, it will make another copy underneath. And then we can, we can move it up. Oops, hit Enter. Control T, hold down shift, we'll move it up like so, about that area there, and we just have this little um, oval, oval shapes for our background. And we can grab these two, uh, we'll put these in a group, and we'll call these uh, bottom ellipses, like so. Let's drag these down underneath. Click on this and put it in a group and we'll just call this background. Okay, so that's our background so we can turn everything off all at once and on. All right, <clears throat> so now uh, let's see, I didn't spell large right. Large doesn't have a W in it. Okay, all right. Now we want to add uh, some background uh, photos okay so we're going to add one photo for the background that's going to go up here and then we're going to add four more images here back to business let's go into our background now we have our bottom ellipsis here right and our gradients okay i want my image to be over the gradient but under these bottom ellips ellipses so we're going to make a new layer we're going to place our image right here so file uh, place embedded. We'll go to our downloads. So it's placing the image in there, but we want to scale it up. So if we hold down Alt and Shift, we can scale it up like so. And I'm going to drag this to the top. Maybe scale it down a little bit. Maybe about like so. So we have that. Now let's go into our uh, photo masks. Okay, so we have... Um, four more images that we need to bring in. So we'll go to File, uh, Place Embedded, and I'm going to place, uh, let's see, left side mask. This guy will probably work. And then we would do Create Clipping Mask. And then we can bring its opacity up like that. Okay, and then we need to go into our right side photo mask. So let's open this folder. And this is the top. Call this the top. This is the left side. And you don't have to do this step, but if I don't, then I get all, all weirded out. But anyways, all right. So we'll go to our top, file, place embedded. And see in our top, let's go ahead and grab him. All right, so file, place embedded. Uh, so, girl, boy, girl, boy, I need a girl. Let's grab this. And we're going to put her. I uh, don't want to grab my guide. We'll put her like so, but I need to make it a little bit larger. Maybe like so. And right click, create clipping mask. So she's in that one. And then on our right side one, we'll add one more file, uh, place embedded. And so we'll grab this girl here. And I got all these uh, images off in Vado Elements. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. It's an affiliate link, but uh, if you want to use these same in images, you can. Uh, but you have to license them on Envato. All right, so we'll drag her over, and I don't think, I don't think this is going to work out too well. 
Let's see. Right click, create clipping mask. Yeah. Maybe. Let's hit V for our move tool and we can kind of move her around. Okay, maybe that's okay. Maybe it's not. All right, so our background girl, let's play with this a little bit. So um, I'm going to add a gradient map to her. So if we hit D, that's going to make our foreground black and our um, background color white. Uh, so then we click on our adjustment layers and we don't want gradient, we want gradient map. Okay, so if we hit gradient map, it's going to add this, um, add these colors. So let's go into her highlights and let's pick this red and see what it kind of looks like. But uh, we need to, I want to get rid of this, uh, basically everything but her face, this top third, this top half. So if we go on to uh, layer mask, grab our gradient tool, and then we're going to switch our gradient out to um, this foreground to transparent. We'll hit OK. And I'm going to drag about from the center of this one up, holding shift. And that's going to add a layer mask. That's too much. Control Z. Maybe go down a little further and a little bit less up. No, let's start over. Maybe let's go to like this. Kind of fades her out. And maybe without the gradient map. Let's delete that. So we have that. We have that going on. Um, Alright, let's go. Let's add. I want to add a another rectangle just for uh, fun to see what it looks like so a rectangle tool will hold down shift drag out a rectangle around the corners hit enter hit control t we'll rotate it like so we'll move it over like so and we'll put this on the opacity of like this and then we're going to add this same layer mask. So just hold down Alt, and drag it up. And it faded it out. Okay, I think I like it. Now let's go up to the very top. Let's start adding some text. So we can add text to a hit your type tool. Type tool, horizontal type tool. I have it on Monster Out, uh, regular. Um, I think I got it from Adobe Fonts, probably. So let's drag out a text box. Now, you can do this a, a bunch of different ways. You can just click and add your type, which I'm not going to do. Or you can drag out a text box like so and kind of position it like so. And then we'll put all your text in there. And I hit backspace. So let's go to type, uh, paste norm ipsum, and we're good. Okay, control H. So, I mean, that looks okay, I guess. We want to add some other things to it. We could go, um, let's go back down above. Let's go above everything, grab an ellipse. And we'll hold down shift so it's a whole circle. And we'll go like so. So we have our little uh, circle. Double click on it. Add your gradient overlay. Like so. And we'll hit OK. We're going to make a copy of this. So Control or Command J. Enter. Control or Command T. Hold down Alt and Shift. We're going to scale it down a little bit. And we're going to rotate it like so and then we're going to go into our gradient overlay and we're going to rotate that angle a little bit maybe a little bit more maybe maybe like so and then we can kind of drag it around 
maybe like so. So we hit OK. And then this is our uh, group uh, special text goes here. Boom. And we can grab another type layer. Let's make sure we're in the group. We'll grab uh, some text. We'll put it down here and call this um, photo enter sessions 20 25% off enter control T and we'll just drag this up to here and maybe we'll rotate it a little bit like so so we have that and I think all we need now is to move this up a little bit control T and you just put some information in here like so and then we'll add another type layer down here like so and we'll just call this um, Olivia Photography Enter Control T we'll Bring it over like so And then we'll make a copy Alt up Double click on this 555 1212 Enter Control T Hold down Shift And we'll drag this over to this box about like so. So we have that. I don't think I like this text here. Call, call today to schedule your spring photo session with Olivia enter okay now the text on here is I think I like this better and let's grab let's go underneath that and we're gonna grab a we could do a rectangle tool or we could just use the marquee tool let's use the marquee tool and i'm just going to go about like so okay we're going to make a new layer underneath that grab a gradient tool and let's go with our uh, black to red okay uh, but i want I want it to go from this to this. So control D and then click on both of these control T and we'll move it down a little bit like so. And we have that. Is that what we want? Some stuff here. Let's go back to our background. Let's grab a new layer. Uh, maybe we'll grab an elliptical marquee tool and go about right here like so grab our gradient tool I think it's too much gradient control Z control Z let's go this way We'll see. Maybe a little bit. I want to kind of to angle with this. Do I like that? Yeah. Okay. Let's make a copy. Alt, drag down, Control T, and we'll just move this over like so. Uh, like that and then on this one let's do a drop shadow Whoosh. and I don't know why I had it on gray but I did and 
maybe like so. We have that. Um, go down maybe to our girl, and let's see if we put her on a different blend mode, maybe. Make her more mysteriously. We'll do that, and then maybe underneath here we'll just do... Let's grab a pen tool, curvature pen tool, and then we can just kind of go like so. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? We will see. Enter. And we need to double click on the shape. Uh, the bottom ellipse is this one. Let's double click on this one and maybe add a little drop shadow to it. Um, I kind of like that actually. Maybe rotate it around. Maybe we'll color pick from this guy. That looks okay. So we could do some other things to this. We could uh, we could add a we could add a maybe a hue saturation and then hit color or a clip colorize it and then maybe play around with the make it a little more reddish like so but then these others pop out. I mean, you could do this hue saturation to all of them if you wanted to. So if you want to learn how to do more of these, watch the next video that is popping up now.